Hello, my name is Sharan, and welcome to my first Toon Boom tutorial. Actually, my first tutorial ever, actually. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, some of the basics of the drawing tools in Toon Boom Harmony. Um, let me just bring up the Toon Boom website to show you um, the different versions they have. Let me just scroll down here. Right here, the, here are the three different versions. Um, we've got Essentials, Advanced, and Premium. Now I'll be using Premium in this tutorial. Um, I believe Essentials will be replacing uh, Toon Boom Studio. Advance is replacing Animate and Animate Pro. And Premium is just um, top level software. It's the highest software that they have at the moment. Um, I've been using Toon Boom software for about, about 10 years or so. Started off with a Toon Boom Studio and I was fortunate enough to actually get a copy of Animate Pro for free. I actually won it in, um, I won a copy in one of Toon Boom uh, animation contests. Uh, that was pretty cool. I mean, I couldn't afford it. It's like back then it was like three thousand um, dollars. So I was pretty lucky. Uh, and now I've upgraded recently to Harmony. And um, let me just show you this. That's me there, if anyone wanted to know what I look like. That's me right there. It's such a privilege to actually uh, be on Toon Boom's website. I thought that was really cool. Okay, now let's start a new scene. Let me just uh, call this one Drawing Tutorial. I'll just leave all the settings like that for now. Create scene. Now, um, I'm actually using a Wacom Cintiq, so it's much easier than just a regular tablet. Okay, let's get started. Uh, let me just reset my workspace here. First off, I'm going to remove this layer. I'll hold down this little plus button here. I'm going to add a color card. That just gives me a, a nice white background to work from. And I'll lock that layer so that I don't accidentally um, select it. Now I'm going to add, I'll hold down this plus button and add a drawing layer. Now we have two types of uh, drawing layers in uh, Toon Boom Harmony. We've got the vector layers for both line art and color art. And we've also got bitmap la layers for line art and color art. Um, let's start off with a vector layer. So I'll just add and close. So now I've got myself a vector layer uh, just for my liner and color art. Okay, where should we start? Let's start with the brush tool. Select my brush tool over here. And um, I'll sh let's see, in the tool properties on the right over here, you can select all these different brushes. I'll just show you what this one looks like. Uh, brush 2, a thinner brush. Um, we've also got some texture brushes over here. I quite like the chalk one. That's pretty cool. Similar to a pencil, I guess. And it's all vector, by the way. And... Uh, so that's all. You can just select a brush or you can actually uh, um, and create your own brushes. Um, I won't actually um, show you how to create brushes just yet, but you can actually um, adjust the settings for each of these brushes um, so I can set the maximum size to whatever I want. Like so, the smoothing. That will just make the line more smoother. You can actually see how it just snaps into a much smoother line when I release the, uh, the stylus. Okay, 
and you can either um, adjust your size here or you can hold down the O key on your keyboard hold it down and just drag to, to the right with your stylus to make it bigger and left to make it smaller So that's the uh, brush tool, the vector brush tool in Tuned in Harmony. Um, okay, let's. I'll select my uh, white arrow, the contour editor, and let me just zoom in here to one of my brush strokes. Now, to zoom in in Tune Boom Harmony, you just press the two key, and to zoom out, you press the one key. Anyway, so I'll just select uh, this brush stroke key, and I'll just show you we have all our uh, vector points on the outside of the stroke like so now you can actually edit those if you just select one of these oops i selected the wrong one i can just select those and i can actually shape my line however i want and they have these little bezier handles here can adjust it even more like so that's pretty cool I believe you can do this in essentials and advanced versions of Harmony I'm not too sure I haven't tried them out before okay <clears throat> I'll just zoom out zoom out by pressing the one key so that's the brush tool um, okay let's move on to the next vector drawing tool so I'll just select all that, delete it. I'm going to show you now the pencil tool over here. Now this is one of my favorites. Okay, just zoom in. All right, uh, very similar to the brush tool, really. Uh, okay, let me increase the size. Same deal, you've got your maximum size, you've got your smoothing. So that's a pencil tool, it looks very similar to the brush, but there's one difference. Let me zoom in here. Uh, to pan across, I'm just holding the space bar on my keyboard and you can move the stage around like so. Go back to my contour editor, select one of these strokes. Now, as opposed to the brush tool, you notice that the um, the vector points is in the center of the stroke and just like the brush tool you can move these points around select them all use the bezier handles and that's pretty cool so you can actually just by dragging one point adjust the whole stroke like so whereas with the brush tool you have to um, adjust the the outside contours only that's pretty cool and uh, another really cool feature if i go to if i hold down on this white arrow here i go to the pencil editor now with the pencil editor i'll just select this stroke i can actually adjust the thickness of my stroke which is pretty cool And use his bezier handles to do that and if I want to add another point here for example I believe you hold down the control key or the command key on a Mac so I hold down the control key on a Windows and command on a Mac and you can add, a, add some more points to adjust your line thickness yeah, that's pretty cool The good thing with uh, using the pencil tool also is, if I select that stroke there, I can adjust the size after I've already drawn the stroke. So I'm just adjusting the size of it now. Whereas with the uh, brush stroke, whatever size you had it at, it'll, you can't act, you can't actually do this. We've got the minimum size and the maximum size, that's pretty cool. 
All right. And um, let's see what else can I show you. Ah, another good thing too, with the uh, pencil tool, I can actually um, uh, change the texture of the stroke. So I'll select this one down here, the chalk one, and I've got a nice chalky type effect. Let's try another one. The grain one. That's pretty cool. And I can do that to all my strokes. Charcoal. Like so. Uh, and I believe you can't do that with the brush tool. You can use textures with the brush tool, but you have to uh, select your texture first before you actually um, start drawing. You can't actually change your texture afterwards like you can with the pencil tool. I think that's pretty cool. I'll just hit this little uh, little blue greeny flower here just to see what it looks like rendered. Just zoom out a bit. So that's what it looks like rendered out. Okay, <clears throat> click this one to get get back to your the normal view. Okay, what else can I show you? Um, uh, we've got the over here. We've got our shapes tools. Okay, I've got the line. Pretty simple. Draw your lines like so. The rectangle. This is all pretty basic, pretty self-explanatory. Circle, ellipses, and the polyline. Now, the, if you're used to using Illustrator, this is like the pen tool in um, Illustrator. So you click a point, click another point, drag, and you can see how it gives you that curve. Let go, click another point, drag, and you can do that like so. And I believe you can also change the textures on these. Change your textures, adjust the thickness of your lines, like so. All right. Let me uh, get rid of all of those. Um, okay, let's see. Let me go to the brush tool again. Adjust the size. All right. Another cool thing um, with uh, intersecting lines. All right, I'll just draw some random lines here. Now, let's say I want a line going all the way through, like so. Now, I don't want these lines in here. So, what I can do if I go up here. Sorry, no, the first one. And select cutter. I'm going to use my cutter tool. Now I'm just going to make sure I'm, I'm using the, the lasso over here. Instead of marquee, I'm using the lasso. And all I have to do is drag on the lines that I don't want. And I can get rid of lines, intersecting lines, very easily like that. So let's do some more examples. So that's my character's head and that's his big ears. I can remove these intersecting lines here, all the lines that I don't need. And that's really, really cool. So that's the uh, vector tools in Team Boom Harmony. Um, I think I'll leave it at that for now and I'll show you how to use uh, some of the bitmap tools um, in the next video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, my first video tutorial. Um, please like, share and subscribe, only if you want to. And um, I'll see you in the next video.